Hello, mates. How's it going, dudes? Teacher Rafael here, and welcome again to one of my classes. <laughs> okay, this class, we're meant to some of the groups that are not able to have class or they don't like EAD or they have connection problems during the social distancing because of the COVID-19. But also for anybody who wants to watch and learn something from us, from our school, and learn something interesting in English. Now, that is not my face. I'm sorry. Again, I wanted to buy a webcam before the COVID, but unfortunately, the moment I went to look for a webcam, all the stores were closed. So let's get done with it. So the lesson today, it's about how to link the sentences. Now, it's going to be a fast lesson, and but it's going to be interesting. There's not so much to explain, but just some tips. Now, some of you have done the uh, the connectors, the linking sentence, the linking words. Let's have a look at them again. So here we go. Now let's start with some vocabulary. I strongly suggest you to learn this vocabulary. So these are some of the linking words. We have words of consequence, linking words of contrast, cause, and addition. Now what is a linking word? Is a word that links two sentences. Now you know how to make a sentence. If you don't know how to do it, watch the videos about word order and about verb tenses. Then you're going to see the videos about connectors. Now, what is a connector? As I told you, is a word that links two sentences to create a bridge. Okay. Now, of course, they're different. We have connector of consequence that obviously are for consequences, like does, the by, so then and consequently. Now, the most common it's consequently, because like gives the idea, but you can also use the others. As an example, I can say, uh, I am doing a diet, so I lost five kilograms. I mean, like it's quite obvious. Now, contrast. Now, contrast is like opposition. Okay, so when two things are opposite, use one of these words. Despite, although, but, very common, however, instead. Now, all of them gives an idea of contrast. So don't think about this word in Portuguese. Yes, you have some words that are in Portuguese that can be substituted with them, but don't do that, okay? Now, an example that we can make is uh yes i want to open the school however the government doesn't allow me to do that because of the covid so see however it creates a bridge of opposition i want to open my school however i can't because the government doesn't allow me to instead the same idea and but yes you can substitute but we all have a not a problem cause now, a connector, of course, it's when you have a reason to something happen. Uh, for instance, here, due to the COVID-19, uh, the government imposed a lockdown. So see, the two gives an idea of why something happened. You can also use because. Um, uh, for instance, I live in Brazil because I love tropical countries. See, I live in Brazil because I love tropical countries. Again, because creates a bridge. And then we have addiction. Addiction is like, you know, the word and is more common. Some of you know these words and like more, more over for and more additionally gives the same idea of and. That is not exactly a reason where to put them this is my opinion. If there is like a super grammar intelligent guy, please understand that there are more point of view. But you know, moreover, can be easily substituted by hand. I can say, I study. Moreover, I work every night in a restaurant. So see, gives an idea of addition. So take some time to learn these verbs. Go to a dictionary if you need to. Okay. What is this? Oh, that's very nice. I can, I can write. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, that was very nice. So 
let's move forward. As I can tell you, the connectors links, see? Examples, now let's go with some examples here. First example, I spend time navigating on the internet. I don't work so much. So see, these are two sentences. There is a period. So when you speak, you can say, I spend time navigating the internet. You can make a break, a pause, and then you say the second sentence. I don't work so much. I will go to the supermarket. I'll buy some popcorn. Now again, two separate sentences. You pause between, uh, you pause after you said one of them. This is normal. There is nothing wrong with it. Third example, my friends and I are going to Patos. I want to visit my family there. Again, two different sentences. Normal, no problems, nothing incorrect. Everybody in the world will understand you. So why I want to use this sentence as an example? Because I want to show you the different difference of the sentences when you use a connector. Let's go. My sis loves reading books before bedtime. Yes, I will go this one. She has a lot of good dreams. Again, let's see now the sentences with the connector. Okay? Let's start with the first one. Now, I want you to take five minutes to read these sentences. Press pause in the video and try to put a connector in these sentences. Okay? Started in three, two, one. Pause the video. Okay. Let's see if you've done it well. I spent time navigating on the internet since I don't work so much. You can also use because, not a problem, but since, you can also use it as well. Okay, so if some of you use since, congratulations. If some of you use because, not a problem. If you use so, again, not a problem at all. We have to use a connector of uh, cause, as called consequence. I will go to the supermarket and I'll buy some popcorn. Of course, it's a connector of addition, but you can also use because as well. It's weird, but I don't see any problem. We can use moreover, not a problem at all, too. My friends and I are going to Patos. However, I hate that city. Now, this is clearly an opposition. My friends and I are going to Paros. If I use, so I hate the city, it's, okay, makes sense, but it's very weird. The most appropriate here is something with opposition. If you go to Paros and you hate the city, does it make so much sense, you know? Unless you have something very important to do. My sis loves reading books before bedtime. Then she has a lot of good dreams. Of course, you can also use consequently. There is no problem about it. You just have to use, if you use a connector of consequence, a connector of results is not a problem at all. Okay? So see how different are these, these sentences when you say them separately and when you say them with a connector. You sound more natural. You give some more music to your speech. So that's why the connectors are important. And also because they help you to be more fluent. I spend time navigating on the internet since I don't work so much. It sounds much better than saying, I spend time navigating on the internet. I don't work so much. Okay? One more thing that I want to point out is that the connector has, maybe some of you have noticed, they do not always go into the middle. There are some connectors that go before everything. They also connect. Doesn't mean they have to be in the middle, like here. Although, although my doctor said to avoid sugar, comma, I usually have Nutella for breakfast. <laughs> this is quite crazy. I made an example before with do two. It was with the COVID. I don't know if you noticed that. And I used do two at the beginning. Like in this case, due to his stupid ideas, Lara suffered a terrible accident. Okay, imagine that there's a person who had a stupid idea like, I don't know, trying to jump uh, with rollerblades or jump uh, from a fence, and Lara suffered a terrible accident. So because of this his stupid idea, Lara suffered a terrible accident. So see, the connectors can also go at the beginning. 
more examples with some different words, like instead, like instead again is an opposition. Oh, I put two is here, sorry. I always liked playing video games instead of film. Again, instead gives an idea of opposition. I prefer something instead of something else. For instance, I'm Italian. I prefer eating lasagna instead of pizza. Why not? Queen Elizabeth has lived for a long time. Consequently, I deduce that she's immortal. No, yes, Queen Elizabeth lived a lot. You know, I don't know how old she is. She, but I don't know how old she is. But well, it's that is so long. For me, she's immortal. He won the lottery, so he left the country and moved to Japan. Imagine you have a friend that wins the lottery. Do you think is or she is gonna stay here in Brazil? I doubt it. I doubt it. I really doubt that she or he is going to stay in Brazil. So here, so a connector of consequence. He won the lottery, has a consequence. He left the country and moved to Japan. Now, this was quite, this was quite fast. There is nothing else to teach. I suggest you to learn the connectors, study them in the dictionary, and do the activities. Okay? So, thanks for watching again. I hope uh, that you enjoyed it. If you had doubts, please enter in contact with me. Call me on Instagram or call me on WhatsApp. Okay? Thanks, guy. See you in the next class. Thank you for supporting the school and I wish you the best. Bye, dudes.